So um, back to what I was saying was that um, when Janet Jackson married this money hungry dude, um, he went ahead and told her to make her say, you know, things that, you know, Michael molested kids, Joe beat them. And it's all kind of sort of shit because every father going to discipline their kids. We all have been disciplined by our fathers. Especially um, us, us blacks, we've been disciplined by our fathers. And people got to realize is that Michael Jackson was a little bad kid. Let's call it what it is. Michael Jackson was mischievous because he was the babyest at the time. You know, Marlon Twin died, but Michael Jackson, at the time, he, he was the babyest one. And when you know, when you're the baby, when you're the baby like that, mom, your mom, your mama becomes so protected over that young one. So my guess was that, you know, she told told Joe, you know, you know, leave him alone, leave him alone. You know, he just he, kid, whatever. But Michael Jackson was, he was a bad, mischievous kid at the time. And I take my hat off to Joe Jackson because what he did was he got his family out of the, um, desolate areas of Gary, Indiana, because if he didn't, if Joe Jackson didn't see talent in those kids, those kids would probably be in penitentiary or be dead somewhere. I would say the probably, I said the only one probably would have probably did good for him. Probably two. I would say three. I would say Tito and Jermaine probably would have been um, in their music. And I would say Jackie, the oldest one, he the oldest brother, he probably would have been in a major baseball right now because the Jackson, especially the boys, they was mostly, um, they was into baseball a lot. And Jackie said that, Jackie Jackson said that if he didn't, um, you know, if, if uh, he had two ways, if he didn't perform in that group, he was considered playing baseball. So um, back to that, um, back to what I was saying about Latoya Jackson, you know, she kind of fell and realized that the motherfucker she was married to, he was a crook. I don't know what this Italian dude did. I don't know, but he was a crook to me in my book. He was a, you know, he, he was a criminal for him to go say some shit like that to gain money. So, um, you know, uh, Michael Jackson, he was always was a he was he was always a fan favorite. He always was since he was from child growing up. So how can you say that Michael Jackson was a gay or he was a pedophile like that? Um. I know in in 84, Michael Jackson became a joke ever since then when he um his hair accidentally caught on fire. When his hair caught on fire, all of a sudden you got kids at school, because I remember that that a Pledge of Allegiance to the Fat um Pledge of Allegiance to the flag, to the flag, Michael Jackson, you know, Pepsi Cola burn him up. Now he drinking seven up. We all remember that that slogan that kids just say about him. But every but still yet Michael Jackson always been a a a, a a a true entertainer to these people because everybody you know he had the dance move. He had the charisma. Michael Jackson had the whole the whole he had the whole package. But see, Michael Jackson became. A child molester all of a sudden, a pedophile, when Latoya Jackson came out with that shit right there. Michael Jackson wasn't a gay or he wasn't a pedophile when he was with the Jackson 5. Michael Jackson wasn't, he wasn't gay, he wasn't a pedophile when he left Motown, when he went to Philadelphia um, Music with Gamble and Huff, when they did um, the Jackson self-titled album, Going Places, Destiny. And then when they went to Epic, um, he wasn't gay or pedophile when he did. They did um, Destiny, Triumph, the live album, and Victory. But all of a sudden, now when Latoya came out with this, people all of a sudden transferred and they kind of like fed into it like, oh yeah, he is. And so when I think when that was going on with Sony and all that, they wanted to like bring these kids on that he had. And I believe those people that accused him of molesting him, was, they was paid off.
I think that's that I, I I really I really do. You know, and that's that's what Michael Jackson called hell ever since then. Then when he did the song, you know, they don't care about us. Because I'm gonna tell you like this, you can say what you want to. Michael Jackson always gonna sell records no matter what. You can say all the shit you want to say about that man. I don't think no entertainer can fuck with him. Elvis, nobody couldn't fuck with him because Michael Jackson did his own thing. Michael Jackson, he was a creative brother. Um, yeah, so, so I don't want to hear all about that. And, you know, they talking about Joe Jackson beat him. No, he, he did the right thing. And that's the reason why a father, when the, when the kid got line, a father disciplined him to put them back in line to make them understand. It's a, I'm not whooping you. Not beating, but I'm whooping you because I love you. I don't want to see nothing, you know. I don't want for you to grow up and, and, and do something. Or, you know, a father whoop a kid to make him understand it's out of love. I'm not trying to beat you because I want to beat you. It's it's, it's, it's not like that. So, um, we're going to get that out the way because it's a lot of brothers on YouTube did videos about that and they got videos back about to my old Joe Jackson, this and that. No, that's, that's hogwash to me. So, you know, um, I think too, Michael Jackson started getting into the wrong crowd because I would say, I'm going to put it like this. If Latoya Jackson would did that, I don't think none of these, molestation and all this shit would have came to a head uh, to a hand like that i think they probably would have like um try to put something else on them like that because just like i say when you be good to somebody somebody always want to bring you down and they try to put a a, a, a dark dim shade on you you know it's like a dark cloud that you know try to bring you down and I think that kind of like stressed Michael too. Not just him, but stressed his parents. I don't think no mother or father want to hear the media, the whole world saying something bad about their kids because they didn't, it's not, they know how, they know they raised their kid. They had their kid. They watched their kid when, 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 when birth. A parent know, a parent know their child. But see, now, all this, all this stuff they doing, they ain't doing nothing but bringing Catherine Jackson. They trying to bring Catherine Jackson to a grave because Catherine Jackson, Catherine, she's of age now. She's not getting no younger. She's not getting no younger to say, oh, I'm just going to ignore them. I'm going to brush them off. No, something like that when a, when a mother, especially a mother, even a grandmother, when they up age like that, you know, it kind of stresses the hell out of them. So um, I'm going to get on with part three about this. Allergies kicking my ass. I see what you're talking about, Harvey.